Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tech Repair video. In today's episode, we're going to be replacing this LCD on this MacBook Air A1932. Uh, this guy was mailed in to us, of course, for an LCD replacement. Uh, as you can see, there is no image on this one. So let's go ahead and get into today's repair. Alright, so to begin, we're going to go ahead and flip the unit over and remove all of the pentalobe screws along the perimeter here. And since this unit is a MacBook Air, there's no funny clips going on, so we can simply just remove the bottom pen. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do once we're inside the unit, this is our battery connector here. We're gonna go ahead and unplug that. That way the unit is safe to work on. It won't accidentally power up or short anything while we're working on it in here. And that's gonna be it for everything we do uh, below the top side of the board here for this LCD replacement. So we're gonna be removing the Wi-Fi uh, vent module here. Of course, this is our inner LCD here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the display connector from it, as well as the LCD hinges here. And then we can go ahead and swap it out. All right, so we're gonna start with a T5 screwdriver, removing the four uh, black T5s. Hold the Wi-Fi vent module to the top case. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the two uh, black screws on the inner LD LCD section here. And now we're gonna switch to a T3 screwdriver. We're gonna start at the most important section here, uh, this retention bracket for the LCD display connector. Then we're gonna move on to the uh, retention bracket for the Wi-Fi antenna cables. And while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and take a plastic spudger and unplug both the Wi-Fi antenna cables and the LCD display connection. Then we're gonna switch to a T8 and remove the three on either side, six in total, uh, LCD hinge screws. So now we're gonna go ahead and pry the Wi-Fi vent module off. Uh, this does have some glue spots on it all the way along this edge here. So you do wanna be careful that you don't damage anything, uh, but that you're able to get this guy off. There's that edge there. Now we've got our center mostly free. All right, so it looks like we should just be able to go ahead and pull it out now. There's just a little more glue on the inside here. There we go. Finally got it free. Just gonna push uh, the LCD board through as we pull it back out. There we are. And the final thing to remove our LCD assembly here is just gonna be to open the unit up. And as always, we're just gonna pull straight towards ourselves. And there's our top case separated from our bad LCD. We can go ahead and grab our brand new LCD. If you guys are looking for these, we do have them available at techdep.com. I'll also link them below in the description. Uh, also at techdep.com, if you're looking for OEM original parts, we have those as well. So we're going to flip the screen around and leave the hinges toward the top here for reinstallation. Now we're gonna take our top case assembly, make sure we don't get the wire caught. Go ahead and act like we're opening it up. Set the hinges in their hinge locations. There we are. 
And now we're gonna hold the hinges as we close our LCD. So that's our top case and our new LCD assembly. All together, we're gonna go ahead and secure uh, the six T8 screws at either end, just to make sure nothing happens. And now we're going to go ahead and place our Wi-Fi vent module back into place. There's a couple things to note when you do this. This center LCD uh, board here will go, of course, in the center. And our LCD display connector will actually go on the outside. You can see the little divot cut out there uh, for where it goes over. So if this is on the inside, uh, you're placing it in wrong. You got to make sure it's on the outside. All right, so now we're gonna grab a T5 and we're gonna start with the four black screws that go on either end of our, uh, our Wi-Fi vent module assembly. Now we're gonna grab the two center T5s that hold, uh, of course, the Wi-Fi vent module assembly and also our inner LCD board here. And secure these to the top case. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our LCD connection as well as our Wi-Fi antennas. And you'll notice the two secondary connections on this aftermarket LCD do not come pre-installed. Uh, so you will have to take your old LCD and take off these four T3s, two on each end, and the retention brackets and install them uh, on your new one. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And while we're up here with the T3, we're gonna install the retention bracket for our LCD display connector, as well as the retention bracket for our Wi-Fi antenna cables. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug our battery back in. And before we install the bottom case, we're gonna go ahead and plug the unit in, make sure our new LCD works. So we're gonna plug it in, let it charge for a second, open it up and turn it on. It is very dim because the battery is at 0%, uh, but you can barely make it out there because of how bright it is in here. But our LCD is back working and our unit's good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. It's probably gonna die. Oop, there it goes. And we're gonna install our bottom case just the same way as we took it off. Uh, so one thing to note, there are two long screws, two sets of them. The longest ones go in the center. So the last one and that one I just put on the bottom case are the center two and these two are the outer two. And there we are. It's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Again, if you guys are looking for any parts or tools you see in today's video, I would do have them linked below in the description as well as available at techdep.com. And if you're interested in a data recovery service or a mail-in repair, uh, we do also have those linked below or check us out at techdep.com. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode.